crisis years and how to do well in the school of life. Everything in nature follows its cycles. From planets to atoms, everything is moving and spiraling in cycles, the way it was intended by nature. There is time for everything. A seed becomes a sprout, the sprout grows into a stem with leaves, the stem grows into a bud, the bud becomes a flower, and then the flower turns into a fruit which fulfills the mission of the seed. We, as spiritual and creative beings in material bodies, also have our cycles of life. There are certain lessons we have to learn and certain experiences that we have to go through during our life. There are also exams that we have to take in our life. Those exams are our crisis years and they show how well we are doing in finding harmony with nature. Is there a way to tell what we have to learn in our life before the exams? Is there a certain map of our road of life with a list of things that we have to do before we reach the time of our crisis years. There's a very interesting finding in Vedic culture, a 7 by 7 table. It can also be found in many other esoteric literature and research. It is a model of a human life that tells us about what we have to learn in our life and when we will have to take the exams. The proof that 7 by 7 table really makes sense and works can be found in our own life and the life of others. You can see for yourself if this model can work for you and help you identify what lessons you have already learned and what exams you still would have to take. This model shows the first 49 years of human life. In a way, this is a time of our spiritual childhood. Spirituality, however, is not the need to know scripture, practice yoga or meditation. Spirituality is realizing your potential. It could be in science, business, music, art, or any other trade where you can fully express your creativity and reach positive results. 49 is the age when we all should grow up from our spiritual childhood and take responsibility for our potential and begin to live in harmony with nature. Some do mature earlier than others. Our first seven-year cycle is dominated by our earth chakra. This is the time when we are trying to find the answer to the question, where am I? During this cycle, our energy shell is formed and we begin to learn how to interact with the surrounding environment. Our immune system is activated during these seven years of our life. Our first experiences of interaction with the surrounding environment become the foundation of our future life. One of the most important lessons of this cycle is to realize that nature loves us. The leading chakra of our second seven year cycle is sacral chakra that is responsible for our sex energy. We are very active during this period. We become active in sports as well as we discover hunger for knowledge that needs to be fulfilled. This period is very important due to the fact that we begin to understand the differences between genders and we need to learn how to appreciate our own gender. By the end of this cycle, we all supposed to have lived through puberty, have began our teenage life, and we think that we are ready for our next seven years of life. Third seven year cycle is the time of our first real encounter with society and its groups. During this period, our solar plexus chakra is the main player in forming our energy shell. It's the time when we are trying to find our place in society and we need power to do it. During this cycle, we feel the power that we can change the world and we are trying to do the best we can. We still just begin to learn the rules society plays by and sometimes we go through different crises of our own. Most of us lose their virginity during this period and by doing so, we believe that we are ready for an adult life that is waiting for us in the next seven year cycle. Next seven years of our life are guided by our heart chakra. We learn how to correctly invest our emotions in order to get the best in return from our society. We are looking for the ways to independently support ourselves. We learn the social roles that will help us achieve our goals in the future. This is the cycle when we need to break away from the nest of our parents and begin search for our own. If it doesn't happen, it could lead to certain complications in the future for both the child and for the parents. 
our next seven year cycle is the time when we should start expressing our will and creativity. The leading chakra of this cycle is our throat chakra. It is the time when our spirit begins to guide our will and direct us towards places where we will be able to realize our potential and creative essence. We all are free to exercise our will within the limits of our spirit's mission. The next seven years of our life are led by our third eye chakra. This is the time when our inner philosopher is born. We analyze our life in order to find the new meaning. At this point of our life, we can no longer just talk the talk. We now have to walk the walk and coincide with the worldview ideas that we hold. This is the time of the final battle. Wisdom of heart versus wisdom of logic. The main energy source in the final seven years of our spiritual childhood is our crown chakra. It connects us with our higher self and this is the time when we should understand that things in our life happen not because of our personal ego, but through our cooperation with our spirit. This is the time when we should become a fully pledged member of our spiritual hierarchy and begin to pay interest on the investment made by our higher self. Living in harmony with nature and effectively realizing our potential is one of the main things that we have to learn in our life. You can find the full version of the article and visualization techniques that can help you correct mistakes in your past on LifeScript Doctor website. Just visit www.lifescriptdoctor.com And if you like this video, subscribe, please share it on Facebook and Twitter.